a slow website is a dead website. And in my experience, when I was running my web studio, one of the first causes of slow websites are heavy and non-optimized images. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your images to go from this size to this size with no visible difference, step by step and with a free and amazing tool, Affinity Studio officially the worst nightmare of Adobe Photoshop and Adobe shareholders. Because the Affinity Suite, which has been one of my favorite softwares of all time, and yes, I paid for it, well, it's now free. Yeah, completely free. Okay, so let's get on the computer. So step one, of course, is to download the Affinity software. Just go to their website, affinity.studio, click on get Affinity and follow the instructions on screen. Next, you want to open the Affinity Studio and then you want to click on File, Open, locate the image you want to optimize. And in our case, it's this image here. Now, as you can see, the file size of the image is 6.4 megabytes, or in other words, 6400 kilobytes. Bear that in mind for later. So click on Open. And of course, if you're not subscribed, are you serious? Come on, it's just one click. Okay, let me check. Oh, you did it. Thank you. And the first thing we want to do is we want to change the dimensions of our image. Not always, but as you're going to see in our case, we're going to do it. So first of all, I'm going to use this shortcut to see the actual size of that image. It's 2912 pixels by 1632. Now, one thing you could do is just resize right here. So for example, let's say I want 25, 60 pixels, I'm just going to hit tab and automatically it adapted the height because it's keeping the ratio. And then I click on resize. That's one way of doing it. But in my case, I have a very specific requirements. I want all the images on my website to have the same dimensions. Now you could pick any dimensions, but some of these standard ones would be HD, 2K or 4K. In my case, I'm going to go with 2K or more specifically 2560 by 1440 pixels. So in that case, I'm going to hit cancel here. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and copy this image. Next, I'm going to create a new document. So go to file, new, and you want to input the dimensions here. So first of all, we'll be in landscape mode and here page width. You want to make sure it's in pixels. Then it's going to be 2560. And for the page height, 1440. And the reason why I choose this size is because Full HD is a bit low for nowadays, especially with retina screens. Now 4K might be a bit too much and a bit hard to optimize. When I say optimize, I want a good compromise between the visual quality and the weight of the actual image. And I feel like 2560 by 1440 pixels is a good compromise. So I'm gonna go with that. So next, click on create document. Then I'm gonna right click here and hit paste. So here is my image. Now, let me zoom back out. And with my selection tool selected, you can see the actual size of the image here. You can see the guide here. So what you can do is just start resizing and it's going to keep the ratio. So it keeps a good ratio. You want to make sure you don't leave any white border. Well, any border, you want to make sure there's no border. So I can zoom back in. Sometimes what I do is I will make it a tad bigger just to be sure. I don't have those empty spaces. Next, let's optimize our image for file size in Affinity Studio. So for that, I'm just gonna to go to File, Export, Export again. And here you have a bunch of file formats. Now, one of the most popular ones is JPEG, but JPEG is actually quite heavy compared to what we're going to use. So we're gonna click here on WebP and you have several presets, but you can also change the quality here. So if you click here, you can change the quality. Now, the more you use it, the more experience you get, the easier it's going to get. In my case, I'm going to start with 70, which usually is quite good. And I can see that for 70, it's 139 pixels. Now I could go lower, I could go higher. Once again, I'm trying to keep a good compromise. So you might have to try a few times just to nail it. But once again, the more you use it, the easier it's going to get. So here I'm going to click on export and I'm going to locate the space on my hard drive where I want to save it. So I'm going to call it my image 01 because the original image is my image 00. So let me save my image 01 
And now if I open my file browser, this is my original image. And once again, we can double check the size is 6.4 megabytes or 6,400 kilobytes. Now let me select the second image, the one we just created and optimized. And this time the size is 142 kilobytes. Now, if you're not a math genius, I'm not. Well, luckily we are in the AI era, or you could just use a calculator. But as you can see, if we let Google and Google AI do the math, well, we've reduced the file size by 45 times. Yeah, 45. But now let's go back to our file browser and I'm gonna select the first image. So this is the original image, 6.4 megabytes. And now let's move on the image we just optimized. So I'm just gonna change now. And apart from the dimension, and that's normal because if you recall, I changed the dimensions a little bit because I didn't want to have any empty edge. But for the quality, look, let me switch back and I will put on screen which image is which. So this is the original and optimized. Original and optimized. So in terms of quality, the quality is great, but the file size is 45 times lighter. So now let me open my website in edit mode. And by the way, I'm using WordPress, any WordPress Astra theme and the Spectra page builder. So I'm just gonna hit on edit page. And here I'm going to select my container. Next, I'm gonna go to the style tab and I'm going to change my image. So let me hit replace. And I'm just gonna upload the new file, this file right here, then hit open. Next, I'm gonna hit select and hit save. And now if we go to the front end of our website, so that was the previous image, I'm just gonna hit refresh and voila. Now, compared to the original image that we then optimized, your website will be 45 times lighter. Now, imagine you repeat the process for all images on the website, and you can see how fast your website is going to get just by optimizing your images. Now, of course, there are other factors to slow websites, like the platform you're using. In our case, we're using WordPress, but also the theme you're using, the page builder, the plugins, and so on. And in our case, we're set because we're using the Astra theme and the Spectral Visual Website Builder. And actually that image is so beautiful, let me put it full screen. So I'm just gonna change the height, hit save. Now go back, let's refresh and voila, beautiful. So I hope that this was useful and please let me know in the comments about your best wins using this method. Don't forget the record to beat is 45 times lighter while still looking good. Let me know if you did better. And by the way, if you wonder how I create such beautiful websites like this one or even this one, well, we created a video on the topic. So make sure you watch this video next. You're welcome.